my name is Fabio Hernandez. I'm from New York. My parents are from Uruguay and I'm a soccer coach. I'm a goalkeeper coach by trade. I work with adults all the way to kids. So that's what I, that's what I do. Soccer, when you're little, you don't, you don't pick what you do, you're taken. I was just fortunate enough that my dad shared the same passion about soccer. When I was little, like my, my, I have memories like playing with my dad, playing with my brothers. I've been playing ever since. I mean, I don't remember a day without a ball at my feet. What made me get into coaching was having a bad coaching experience. I had a bad coach and it made me lose my passion for soccer. And when I hung up my gloves and I decided to stop playing and I transferred into coaching, I wanted to make sure I wasn't that bad influence. I wanted to make sure that I could be a positive influence, whether it be a kid or working with professional players, making sure they're psychologically good. We take a toll on their day-to-day -day life. So I think what pushed me into coaching was having that bad experience and making sure I could be a positive influence for other people. I saw a player, a college player I hadn't seen in three years, and the hug he gave me was that success. Like if you could leave somebody and have them really care for you the same way that you care for them, that's how you're gonna be successful. You're leaving marks on people, not just in sport, not in soccer. You know, they think about you as a positive influence. My motivation was much more family than it was goal. I would think about my family while I was living far from home. I would always think about them in the sense of like, I can't let them down. I can't miss practice because my parents are suffering more than I am. Now that I'm coaching, my motivation's my goal. It's my dream, it's what I wanna do. I've got, I got to play at a high level, but I'm still a frustrated soccer player that didn't get to where he wanted to be. And the last thing I wanna be is a frustrated coach. I'm gonna get to where I'm gonna go, and I know that, so when I hit those bumps on the road, where's the next turn? What can I do to get your objective? got three little brothers. Growing up, you're fighting, you're, you're playing. And then when I moved away, I was gone for eight years playing. And for a long time, you get this like guilt feeling that you're not the big brother that you should be because you're not there. And I would come home and I would feel it. I would really feel it. I would feel like I wasn't the person that an older brother should be. I got two brothers playing. One's playing in Portugal. He's a goalkeeper. And when he's home, training him, working with him, not only working with him on the field, but the car rides home. Hey, what can I do better? Having those conversations and realizing I'm that influence on him is phenomenal. And then the youngest one's in college, wants to go play pro, same thing. What can I do? Like when he asks me those questions, it makes you feel like you're that positive influence. Having those people around you, looking up to you is great. Respect your reality, don't expect anything more.